Hello everyone. A warm welcome from us, Gayatri and Radhika, to our new video on Basant Panchami. This occasion falls on the fifth day of the lunar month of Magh and flags off the 40-day countdown to the first day of spring or Vasant and hence is called Vasant Panchami. Every place explodes with hues of yellow during this festival as it is the prominent color of the month visible in the blooming flowers and flourishing crops. Inspired by the brilliance and vibrancy of Mother Nature, yellow is exalted as the theme color of the festival and people across India showcase it through their dresses, decorations and food items. Those from states in the north and west also indulge in kite flying as an expression of joy and exuberance. Though Basant Panchami is a day that marks a seasonal transition, the day is also associated with a few mythological events. As we present to you those tales, it is worth noting how seamlessly the theme color yellow gets interwoven with the essence of each story. The first and most celebrated mythological event of Basant Panchami is the birth of Saraswati, the bestower of knowledge and all arts. It is believed that Brahma created Saraswati on this day to fill joyful sounds into his completely silent universe. In her honor, the day is also called Saraswati Puja in the East and Sri Panchami in parts of South India. Yellow is considered auspicious as it is the favorite color of Saraswati and hence she is offered yellow flowers and yellow colored prasad such as Bundi Laddu. As the main ritual, families place their education and art elements in front of Saraswati and take her blessings. They then engage in intellectual and creative activities employing those elements as a way of expressing their gratitude. This tradition is similar to that followed by Tamilians on the Navami of Navratri known as Saraswati Pujai. Placed here are three kinds of musical instruments. Harmonium, a wind instrument. Tanpura, a string instrument. And Dhol, a percussion instrument. Behind, a music troupe is playing devotional tunes using different folk instruments. Two budding musicians are playing the fiddle and the mandolin. On the right, three school-going children have placed textbooks of their favorite subjects. The first kid, fond of science, is engrossed in balancing chemical equations. The second kid, a mathematics wizard, is busy solving a geometry problem. The third kid, an aspiring explorer with a social studies book, is identifying different countries on the world globe. In the front, the ritual of Vidya Arambha is being conducted where toddlers are encouraged to write alphabets and numbers on a plate filled with rice grains as their first step 
towards formal education. A sub story closely connected with Saraswati Puja on Basant Panchami is that of Kali Dasa, the renowned poet who is seen here writing his new composition. Kali Dasa was a simpleton married to a princess who mistook him for a scholar. On knowing his real identity, she banishes him from her kingdom. Saraswati then appears in front of the despondent Kalidasa and gives his life a new direction by transforming him into a highly learned and cultured person. Thus, people worship Saraswati on this day in the belief that she will lead them as well to a path of knowledge and enlightenment. The next two scenes depict two mythological tales that are said to have happened on Basant Panchami. The first one is about Rama meeting his ardent devotee Shabri. Here is Shabri, old and hunched back, holding a leaf bowl filled with freshly plucked berries to offer Rama and Lakshmana who have stopped by her hut during their search for Sita. Shabri tastes every berry individually to ensure that she serves only the sweet ones to Rama, leaving him overwhelmed with the sincerity in her devotion. The yellow of Pasant Panchami is thus synonymous as the color of Shabri's faith and devotion. The second story is that of Shiva burning Kamadeva. Following Sati's self-immolation, Shiva loses interest in worldly matters and enters into deep meditation. After Sati is reborn as Parvati, she tries her best to win over Shiva through her devotion and service, but her efforts go in vain. Desperate to bring him out of meditation, she takes the help of Kamadeva, the god of love. Here is Kamadeva standing on his parrot Vahana, holding a sugarcane bow. He is shooting cupid arrows made of fragrant flowers at Shiva. Shiva wakes up, realizes the ploy and opens his third eye in anger. The fire from his forehead burns Kamadeva to ashes. Though he is eventually revived by Shiva, Kamadeva's selfless act of putting himself in danger for the sake of others is remembered on this day. The yellow of Pasant Panchami is thus symbolic as the color of Kamadeva's sacrifice. In other incidents, Pasant Panchami is believed to be the day Brahma created the universe. Besides, it is marked as the day Sita married Rama and hence is also known as Vivah Panchami, a day considered auspicious for conducting weddings. Radha Krishna's divine love is also celebrated in a grand manner on this day as a tribute to Kama and Rati. In addition, some interesting customs include feeding milk to snakes and worshipping the sun as a precursor to Ratha Saptami, the birthday of Surya that falls two days after Basant Panchami. Thus, Basant Panchami is a charming festival exuding brightness of knowledge, warmth of emotions and the glow of happiness 
all represented through the many hues of yellow through which we look forward to the arrival of the king of all seasons the spring hope you all painted the town yellow during this month of basant panchami thank you for watching namaste